Hey, so today I got two things I was waiting on for a long time in the mail. Uh, one arrived in this, uh, I just opened it, just to make sure it was okay, and to get the plastic off of it, in this FedEx envelope, um, inside the, in, in, in this also, and what I'm talking about is spy number 837 from the Criterion Collection. This, guys, is one I've been waiting for forever. You know, I made a list on my uh, Criterion Collection page, which I think you can, if you go to the cri CriterionCollection.com, I believe it is, uh, and then put in, you search for somebody, search for Dean of DVD. I don't think there's any spaces in the name on there. Uh, and you'll find my collection. I need to update it. I've gotten some things and lost some things, sold some things. So I need to update it a little bit. Um, but in any event, uh, this is one that was on my wish list. There's a few things that were on my wish list, but this was right at the top. Uh, it's from Krzysztof Kostlowski. It's a Polish film. Again, Spine 837. Uh, this is 10 hours in length. Uh, it is Decalogue. Love the packaging on this. It's just this beige uh, with these black squares. I don't know the significance of the squares. There are 10 of them. It almost was like a cross, but not quite. Uh, don't know if that's, any, if that's a significant... I've never watched the Decalogue. I've heard of it. It's been one of those films, or one of those... Uh, it was 10 movies made for television. Uh, <clears throat> that's how they chose to do it, because they were hour each one were hour-length length, uh, films. Uh, there's two Kristoffs. Uh, uh, one is... Uh, Let's see, Krislavski, obviously. And then it was co-written by another Kristoff, like Pizowitz or something. Uh, in any event, uh, yeah, Kristoff Pizowitz. Pizowitz? Uh, Polish names. But this is, um, <clears throat> let me read the back first. And then, first of all, it's based on the Ten Commandments. And the two Kristoffs got together. This is out of the book that's in here. The two Christophs got together one day in conversation, and Christoph uh, Pizowitz said, you know, somebody really ought to do a film on the Ten Commandments. Uh, not, not, the, uh, you know, not, the, not the Charlton Heston uh, Ten Commandments uh, that showed how they came down off the mountain, off Mount Sinai, but rather a film exploring each of the concepts, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt, thou shalt honor thy father and mother, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh, those things uh, shall not covet thy neighbor's wife. Uh, all these Ten Commandments, each one of those could make a film. And in the conversation, uh, you know, Christoph Kosofsky said, well, it's an interesting idea. And Christoph uh, Pizowitz said, you ought to write it. And I said, oh, no. You know, it's not like a lot of work. Uh, but between the two of them, uh, Pizowitz had all the ideas or a lot of the ideas and then, uh, but is not a writer, Kuslowski then put it down on paper and, and wrote the screenplays for each of the ten, and then ended up directing each of the ten. But ten different cinematographers on this project. Now let me read the back, as I started to say. This masterwork by Christoph Kuslowski is one of the 20th century's greatest achievements in visual storytelling. Originally made for Polish television, Decalogue focuses on the residents of a housing complex in late communist Poland, whose lives become subtly intertwined as they face emotional dilemmas that are at once deeply personal and universally human. It's ten hour-long films drawing from the Ten Commandments for thematic inspiration and an overarching structure, and they grapple deftly with complex moral and existential questions concerning life, death, love, hate, truth, and the passage of time. Shot by nine different cinematographers with stirring music by and compelling performances from established and unknown actors alike, Decalogue arrestingly explores the unknowable forces that shape our lives. Also presented are the longer theatrical versions of the series' fifth and sixth films, which are called a short film about killing and a short film about love. So those are the theatrical, uh, that's five and six, fifth and sixth. So those are also included on here. Uh, 171 minutes for those two, so they're going to be like an hour and a half each. Uh, you've also got new restored 4K digital transfer of all 12 films. 
with an uncompressed mineral soundtrack. By the way, it is from 1988, all these films. Uh, 583 minutes. It's uh, in Polish with English subtitles. Selection of archival interviews with director Krzysztof Kosowski, taken from a 1987 television piece on the production of Decalogue. Two examples from the 1995 documentary, a short film about Decalogue, and a 1990 audio recording from the National Film Theater in London. New program on the format and thematic patterns of Decalogue by film studies professor Annette Insdorf. New and archival interviews with Decalogue cast and crew, including the co-writer, Gustav uh, Pizowitz, uh, 13 actors that were in the films, three cinematographers, uh, an editor, and a, a Koslowski confidant, Hannah Kral. Uh, trailers for all, plus a book featured an essay, uh, and capsules on all the films by cinema so uh, scholar Paul Coates, all with excerpts from Koslowski on Koslowski. Um, so let's, let's pop this open here, and I'll show you one thing that really pleases me, the whole thing pleases me. One thing that really pleases me is the book that they included. We're not talking about a, a, a map that you all, you know, with a poster in it. What we're talking about here is a book, 72 page book. So there is the book. It is thick. Even by Criterion standards, it's pretty thick because each one of the films gets a one or two page. Uh, for instance, here's Decalogue 10, and you get a picture, and then you get a summation, or capsule as they called it, in each one of the films. Yeah, that's another one. And then you've also got a listing of all the casts for each movie, each Decalogue. And then you've got, to start out, it says, and so on, uh, Kislowski's Decalogue and the Metaphysics of the Everyday. And that's a, a rather long article by Paul Coates. So you've got, a, and then Kislowski on Kislowski back here, uh, in, where, in which he talks about the Decalogue, how he you know, met the person on the street, uh, Pizowitz, who suggested doing this and then how they, how they formulated it and, and so on and so forth. Uh, really interesting. I've seen, uh, if you go out to Criterion.com, CriterionCollection.com, you can see a trailer for this, for the Decalogue. You get some idea of the beauty, uh, how this was filmed, uh, the orchestration that goes with it. Uh, he, he set out to, to show the Ten Commandments in modern day uh, perspective. Uh, and I think he treated it with some level of reverence, uh, but yeah, really, uh, I don't know what these, what these are all about. Perhaps by the time I, I've never watched these. I was tempted to buy a bootleg years ago and didn't, and I'm grateful I didn't because you can't beat the Criterion version. These are four Blu-rays. Uh, one and two hold the 10 Decalogues, and then Disc three holds the two movies, a uh, short film about killing and a short film about love, and then all the supplements are on the fourth, all Blu-rays. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is a thick package. As you would expect because of the book, they had to uh, put it in a fairly thick package, or a very thick package, I guess, would be probably better. Um, so yeah, it's pretty thick. And... You know, rightfully so. I mean, this really is a release that's been a long time coming. Ever since I've heard of the Criterion Collection and learned of Decalogue, or the Decalogue, um, it was been something I want. It's been something I wanted to see on the Criterion Collection. So, really pleased to have this in my collection. Um, and um, I want to thank the folks at the Criterion Collection for putting it out on Blu-ray and for sending it to me. Uh, I will be reviewing this soon. It is 10 hours, so you'll have to excuse my uh, the length of time it might take to do this because 10 hours is 10 hours. It's almost like having to watch 10 movies uh, of an hour each. 
Well, it is. And I will be doing that. But um, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to review each one separately or whether I'll wait till I finish all 10. Uh, what do you guys want to see, I guess? What would be more helpful to you in deciding whether or not you want to pick this up? It retails for $99. Uh, the Criterion Collection has it at their website right now for $79.99. Uh, when Barnes & Noble has their sale, I'm assuming in November, you can pick it up for about 50 bucks. But what a great deal to pick up 10 movies of this quality by a director uh, who is one of the greatest directors in our time, Christoph Krasowski. Uh, again, from 1988, Decalogue's going to focus in on those Ten Commandments. And, you know, what, <laughs> in today's world, what, you know, what's... <laughs> Can you think of a better way to approach a film than, than the Ten Commandments? I thought it was pretty cool. So that is Decalogue. I'll be finding a, some sort of plastic to cover this sucker. Um, especially since it's beige. But for right now, i got the plastic guy. This won't last on here. It's so thin. But uh, for right now, this is beyond. And I'll be seeking out uh, one of the current things I have in uh in blu-ray to uh swap out with this I'm not sure which one but one of these will swap out won't be three colors though that's another uh classic christoph koslowski release anyway decalogue really excited to start watching this guys and uh look for my other unboxing soon on another topic that i'm wild about aside from movies which is music and you'll see a book that i received today in the mail that i'll be showing uh very shortly Probably right after this. All right, guys, take care. Look for that review of the uh, Decalogue. And if you have any questions about the packaging or this release, I'd be happy to answer those. All right, thanks.